Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I had an accident. You see I have a glove on. I went to grate my ginger and I had I just started started to grate down and I hit my knuckle on the grater. So I put a band-aid on and I put a glove on because you know I'm funny about all that. But today we are going to make like a spicy ramen noodle bowl and with chicken. And I'm making this for my daughter because she's starting back on her low carb. So I put in about six or seven leaves of bok choy. Uh, just wash that really good and cut like the thick white stalks off. And then I took a bunch of green onions, the spring onions, and uh, there was like five or six in the bundle, and I chopped those. And then I have five cloves of garlic chopped and one medium medium to large size uh, yellow onion and then I grated like fresh uh, ginger and um, by the time you pack that in it's about one tablespoon of, of ginger and I had a little leftover and I just dumped it in but the ginger is really good it makes it really flavorful and I put probably about three tablespoons of olive oil, if that much, in my Ninja Foodi um, to saute this. And my my little shaker comes out. It doesn't come out fast, so it, it kind of, I never know how much I put in there. But, you know, just enough to saute your stuff. Um, and then I added one tablespoon of the Thai red pepper flakes. And I know that seems like a lot, but it doesn't make this extremely spicy okay and then you want to add uh, I didn't have any fresh limes so uh, I just used my little squirt of <laughs> lime juice and you want to add a tablespoon of that and the night before I had made uh, four small chicken breast and just boiled those and I put a lot of pepper and just different types of spices in you can put whatever you want um, and you just want to take those and they're easy to shred up when they're cold like that. <laughs> so I had four. I used three. I don't know why I just didn't use all four. I have no idea. But, um, you know, you can put as much chicken or less than that if you want. But just get that shredded up. And I have my, my vegetables and all that just sauteing. Um, and I use these noodles, those Nasoya. These were the spaghetti noodles. Um, but these things are absolutely amazing. I mean, they have... Um, I think five carbs and three or four uh, grams of fiber so you subtract that from the from the carbs so you you really it, these are like one carb a serving or something and they're a really good substitute if you're wanting um, you know some type of Italian dish or something like that I love the consistency of these noodles um, they're really good to me and they're made out of water konjac flour and chickpea, chickpea flour I think um, so just throw your chicken in there uh, with that, uh, with your vegetables. And I just wanted to let that chicken warm up and kind of cook down with those a little bit. Um, and I probably let those, I, I guess I let those vegetables cook maybe like 10 or 15 minutes or so. Um, and then you want to add, this is a 32 ounce bottle of the Artisan uh, Chicken Stock Collagen. I think that was the name. Um, and it's my favorite. Um, and I'm sad because this is my last jar. <laughs> I bought them. I don't think my grocery store sells them anymore. So I put the whole the whole 32 ounces in there. And you can use the, you can use whatever you want, the the kind in the the box or or whatever, just any kind of chicken stock. And then I put um, a quarter teaspoon of low sodium soy sauce in here, soy sauce. But I ended up putting another uh, quarter cup so just just I'll put it in the description box just use a half a cup of soy sauce and then I put um, four tablespoons of sriracha sauce and y'all like I, I'll, I'll just be making these recipes up as I go um, like if I have something in my mind <laughs> but it comes out really good you know you just got to make sure that you taste everything and add or take out well you can't take out but add something you know other ingredients and um, spices if you want um, and then I added one tablespoon of sesame oil and 
I used one tablespoon of fish sauce and I love fish sauce. It smells really bad, but it tastes really good in food. It's so weird. I should have put two tablespoons in there, but I didn't. Um, and then I went ahead and added one more teaspoon of the red pepper flakes. And these noodles weren't like hot, hot. They just had a little, you know, they just, they had like a nice spice to them, but not overly spicy like what you would think, all right? And, you know, I'm just tasting it. I don't think I added anything else in it. It, it tasted great to me. Um, and I just, you just want to let that simmer down for probably like 20 or 30 minutes. Just let it simmer and all this stuff cook together. And see, here's the consistency of these noodles. Um, these are more expensive than, of course, regular noodles. Um, I mean, these are like $4, four dollars four eighty nine a pack. And, you know, regular noodles are really cheap, but they worked amazing. Um, and, you know, just put those in. What you do is you uh, put those in um, water and let those cook for about a minute, minute or two, and then just rinse them with cold water. But... I made a bowl for my picture for my thumbnail and my sister grabbed the bowl and she ate most of the soup, but it was really, really delicious. And I think you guys would like it. Um, but let me know what you think. Leave me a comment and I'll see you guys next time.